time no see. Yeah. Well, first I'll say hello, Anyozeo. Anyoshimika. Anyoshimika. I hope you guys have been fabulous. It's 2016. It's time for a new year. It's time for changes. It's time for new things. So, hi. An update. This video is just all about what I've been doing. Like, some people are like, you still in Korea? What's going on? So, first. Welcome to my humble abode. This is mad. This is mad. I am back. Um, I live in Missouri, which I always say Kansas because like that's where I was born. I mean, I lived in 2016 and then Missouri in like 1997. So I always say Kansas, but I'm on the Missouri side. I left Korea around the end of the summer or so. First, I had to stop in Japan again. You know, because I love Japan so much. So school was cool, but I realized, damn, Korean is like after you pass like level one or two, it's like crazy hard and just the way that Yonsei works is kind of that Asian Korean system of learning just didn't go with me very well and just some of the teachers they are like one teacher like kind of came at me wrong and I was like home girl maybe you need to learn English better because you don't speak to me like that she was like why well, didn't he I was like no 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 honey i didn't mesh well with that school at all you know it's like you see i get the gist of korean you see like i freaking understood you saw like you know when you do math and you see the process and the teacher's like oh i see you you know how to do it you just didn't get the final answer but i i see you understand it's not that if you don't get it it's done and that's it what the hell oh so if i ever go back to learn which i don't think i will i'd rather just like learn it in my free time and just really put forth the effort I, but i'm not spending that money to go <laughs> to go back again and never you know say speaking of that i found little korea well i didn't find my friend i became friends with a lady at work um she had been in korea in the army for a year and oh my gosh we had a love for korean stuff she's like oh my gosh no one wants to go to like these places with me i'm like oh my gosh i'll go so i found little korea there's a freaking two jews in freaking kansas city so two the jews i could just go like 15 minutes down the street and see the jews oh my gosh so anyway i'm happy i'm extremely happy and this is the first time i've been back in the states and i've been happy and the reason why was why i was in korea like like things weren't working out like I wanted to go back to Korea to see if those opportunities that I had when I left were still there but they weren't because like the people that were in the positions they were in weren't there anymore and like stuff had changed like Korea like, changed like that like, so while I was there I, God gave me this piece like this chapter right now is over it's it's going to an end but i have another chapter for you which we all have a big book like i got a big book yo like i still want to like reach new heights and go places so i feel like that chapter of living overseas at that time had closed and i actually felt a piece about it and, like my friend was really trying to help me to stay and like get odds and his jobs to like the test, um, get money or whatever but I was like, you know what? I have a piece about going back to the States. I really, really do. I was like, I, I just know God will take care of me. Because this in my younger years, I just stressed so much. And it was just so hard to get like a fashion job. So I came back and all of a sudden, all these visual merchandising jobs um, started coming. Because I'm a visual merchandiser. Like you guys know I'm my bachelor's in fashion. Like I love So I started working out on the Navy. They had a, a department manager for kids. So I was merchandising the kids. It was really good. But I was there. I got hired in when the store manager was leaving and so no i got in there was like well what are you who are you and i'm like what so i didn't get like proper training they didn't have enough people it's like oh my gosh we're gonna hit compliance um someone's just gotta go to lunch they were throwing me on the registers and i'm like i'm not a freaking cashier i am a visual merchandiser i do the clothes like i make stuff look good so i knew that that was not the place for me i knew i wasn't gonna stay there long. um because oh navy's like it's a freaking country zombie place like clothes. i never walked in because i hate your clothes but some people love it that's totally fine at that same time i got contacted by target because they had a visual merchandising management manager position open i was like oh my gosh it's me i had three targets contact me so it was really great i mean like all special or whatever so i was like yes like man like i've lived overseas i've got my bachelor's i've got experience i've got culture and stuff like if they don't hire me they're crazy and it took a month i called twice a week for a month for the location that was nearest me i finally got in after a month i interviewed three interviews bam they were like you passed it you are amazing and they were like all those behavioral questions what if give me a time or and i had a book of all my answers to all the questions that, like my first interview lasted two hours and this one lasted around two but i had three interviews they were like okay we want you to have a fourth interview with our district manager 
couple days later I did that I got off of work I was like um um I got a doctor's appointment I'll be back I went home did the interview went back guess what before I even got back to work they were like can you come in I was like yeah so I got in there which the lady was like you're perfect for us you are amazing we want you she was like oh and did we tell you how much they paid I was like no you ain't tell me how much you pay she was like you getting paid mm -mm 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 -mm. I was like Oh my god. It's like, well, <laughs> cha -ching, cha -ching. I feel like I always moved up, try to move up in retail, but I feel like as a woman of color and fashion, it's very difficult to get work. Like, you really gotta work hard. And even when you work hard, like, people will stop you from where you wanna go. But guess what? All this happened, I feel like everything I just come for a circle for that. So I'm now the visual merchandising manager of the Target out here. Such a, like, a free and fun job. Everyone's like, man, your job looks so cool. I'm like, it is. And I can pay it really nice. So within three weeks, I was able to afford an apartment. Though I got my apartment. It is fabulous. I ain't got no furniture, though, because I'm just really picky. I want my front room is Egyptian. My dining room is my kitchen is japanese as you can see my bedroom is hot pink my bathroom is uh breakfast at tiffany's with the hot pink but you know what is my his house so i can do that after a month i was able to get a brand new car so the blessings have just fallen upon me so this is the first time i've been back in the states and been happy so will i return to korea heck yeah like I'm only 27, like, life. You know, I am single with no children. I, I do feel like I will return either there or somewhere in Asia or traveling because traveling, I love. It's my heart, my soul, and I know that I'm going to, I, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to grow and reach new heights. So I'm just really excited about my future. I'm just really excited about where else I can go. And speaking of that, I said there's a lot of new endeavors, so I'm still doing my um, radio show, What's Up with Miss A. Then I also do a podcast with my friend in London, so we're like transcontinental, called Jin Cha Cha Podcast, which means like Jin Cha is like, oh really, and then Cha is like tea. So we just put it together, I mean it's Konglish, like real tea, all tea, all shade, and we just talk about our experiences being black women in Korea, and we talk about a little bit of Western stuff, and K-pop and all that stuff, so listen to that, Jin Cha Cha. .tumblr.com. Last but not least, I have a new series coming up called, what's it called? What's it called? KDIY. So because like I got the decor bug, I didn't think I could do decor really well, home decor. Cause I'm like, I'm in the fashion. I was like, I suck at home decor. But after getting this job and then like having my apartment, like I have got the decor bug and I want to decorate everything. So I'm talking about this series. And this series is because like I have so much K-pop stuff from Korea. Like I want to incorporate it to my home, but I want to do it in a very classy cool way so i want to show you guys how to use your k-pop and to make it like really cool and chic into your home okay, so that's going to be bi week and i'm gonna start my vlogs back up every week so i'm now done with my contract with drama fever i had two contracts six months so i worked with them for over a year and it's been wonderful and i thank you guys for all your support fortunately you guys have watched my videos i feel like i love more mature as with like the people who specifically watch like the YouTube videos on Drama Fever have like very immaturities. So a lot of like hate was being thrown, but I like now nah, I'm back to my channel and I can control. You have an ugly comment, I'm gonna call you something, I'm gonna delete it, then I'm gonna block you. Now I'm back in control my own channel and I was just waiting till that was done so I could start back. So anyway, I thank you guys. I hope you love the KDIY I'll be starting. Bye guys, peace out.